All right, everybody. I wasn't planning to go live today. I used to go every Friday at 7 o'clock, and I know some people don't realize that I changed it, and they were looking for me, and I apologize. I should have put up a notice. I should have said something. But I was engrossed in making these pieces for Sunday and for the next couple challenges, and finally, it's almost 8 o'clock, and I said, you know what? I got to go live and just say hi to everybody. So anyone who is waiting... Hopefully you're getting a notification, you're tuning in, and you're not mad like, I was there at 7 and you weren't there, and then you come later. Yes, it's all over the map. All over the map, schedule-wise. So Sunday, um, these are all beads. We're making tons of pieces for this huge show coming up in two weeks. But Sunday, we're going to be doing deer antler and sea glass. And I have all this sea glass freshly tumbled. I'm also, I have more tumbling right now all different colors fun co shapes and sizes we're going to be wrapping and then these deer look at these deer antler pieces so cool hello edith oh yay we have a bunch of people here so again if you're just tuning in sorry i didn't log in at seven that had been the schedule for weeks but i've been all over the map the last couple weeks so um Anyway, um, so I'm just going to hang out with you guys and make some jewelry and you can just, you can just hang out and, you know, go get, get some of your jewelry supplies and make some earrings if you want with me or make some necklaces. We'll just have fun. Woo, I'm just trying to get the camera to go straight. There we go. Boo, biddy, boo, boo, boo. Biddy, da, 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 da. Olivia was here first. That's not fair. They didn't let you comment. So this is going to be a super, super boring time. I'm just hanging out. And the only fun part is that you guys are here. So as long as you guys are here, it's cool. But um, I'm not going to be doing any dancing around or anything I'm just, I'm just making these guys but i love i love some of these stones and i love some of these color patterns i mean like so fun anyway you body de de so please come Sunday, 12 noon, Eastern Standard Time, 11 Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific. If you're in another country, whatever time that equals for you. Yeah, it's a fun, fun color pattern, huh? We, uh, Marley and I cleaned up this whole studio. It looks so good, but this particular table is messier than ever. So, um, you just got to imagine beauty and cleanliness, like, out far beyond where the camera is reaching. And she's making these cool sets. Let me show you some of them. They're so cool. They're ear she's making earring and bracelet sets. So, like, this one's really fun, right? Really fun. And I'll make a necklace to go with them. This one's kind of funky, right? you got to see it. It's actually brighter than this. These are light green and blue stones but that's lava stone you can put essential oils in there and it'll soak it up um, and then this one is fun with the coconut shell in the middle and look at this one a whole bunch of coconut shells 
Ooh. It's very hippie for all you hippies out there. And there's tons more, but I'm going to go back to making stuff. Okay, I'll just show you two more. This one's really fun. And this one's really fun. Okay, one more. All right, let's make some more stuff. Very quiet in here. I'm not playing any music because I don't want to get any more copyright strikes. Even when I said no copyright, they, they were causing trouble. Ooh. Marley can talk. Marley, say hi. Hey. You hear her? Maybe I'll make a playlist tomorrow to play on. Um, can I bring my computer out? Okay. Um, definitely not copyright. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba. Yeah, I did one. I was almost positive. I didn't go to one song that was didn't promise it was it was good, and it still gave me a strike. Like it was weird. It's like, what kind of game are you guys playing here? Where, what, who? Here. Where you are? Yeah, like this can stay or? No, that's going to be where my laptop is and where you're sitting. Okay. So you're going to be um, doing all the stuff you do, like helping with commenting and putting the stuff in the boxes, taking photos, uploading them. And if, if there's time, like burning more bracelets and stuff. Yeah.
What happened over here? Oh, I didn't do the other one yet. Oh, okay. Oh, yay. Always look like planets to me. My favorite stones always look like planets when you look up close. You guys are so nice. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's. It's eight now. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. That's why it's I didn't realize it was that time already. I don't know what I thought. I was thinking it was like six for some reason. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Cooped up all day. Yep. So you know my phone number, right? Yes, my phone. Okay, so you got to type my phone number into the when you're paying for your stuff. If you get stuff at Michael's, in the credit card machine, yeah, it'll have a, it'll, as soon as they start ringing up your stuff, it'll have a little section for a phone number. You just type it right in. And if they, they're not going to ask anything. If they do ask anything, just say you work for me. These sets are going up in two weeks, but Sunday we're just going to have deer antler and sea glass necklaces. So come, come hang out with us, deer antler and sea glass necklaces. Some of the deer antler are going to be really rustic, like for guys, for boys, for men, or for you. And some of the sea glass is going to be very pretty and very whimsical for the ladies or for whoever likes it. But yeah, the, the show coming up in two weeks is going to be massive, so I, I have to prepare for that even more, even though that's not the next show. But look at these. Oh, look how pretty. Let's put some hooks on them. I actually got most of these at Michael's. They have a huge sale. I th I know it's going on today. I don't know if it's over. It might be over tonight or tomorrow. It's their green labeled beads are 60% off. And then if you have a teacher ID or a military ID, bring somebody who does if you don't. And you can get like an extra 10% off. So you're getting like 70% off. So you get like whole strings of beads like this. Like whole strings of beads like this that are normally like seven, six, seven dollars. You're getting them for like two dollars. But also uh, Baxter Monkey and some other people hunt for really amazing stones online and they send them to me uh, on eBay. They, they go on eBay and they find really awesome deals from awesome sellers in India in uh, like China, probably Pakistan, places like that, Afghanistan. Oh, they they can totally be genuine. Um, it's just semi-precious means they're rare, but they're not as rare as diamonds and emeralds um, because they're really tiny. It's really easy to get teeny tiny bits of a stone. It's much harder to get larger, larger stones. Um, but you'd, you'd be surprised when, when art stores are hurting, they let their merchandise go like ridiculously low. 
after the shutdown, they lost so much business, and it was so hard to, they had to coax people to come back. So that's why they're they're giving them away for like ridiculously low prices. But it, I know what's what's real and what's not. Like, um, let me show you an example. Like, like this is glass. There's nothing wrong with glass, but that's that's a glass bead. So you get a lot more of them in the strand. Um, this is shell. It's not. It's a little bit more expensive than glass, but it's really easy to come by. So you still can get a lot of them, and they're really pretty. But then, like, this is pure jasper. Like, that's, it's not a, it's not a ridiculously expensive jasper, but, like, it's all, let me show you a better version. Like, this is, oh, Marley says bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. She's taking off. Bye. She'll, she'll see you Sunday. Bye. Um, yeah, see, look at that pattern. But this is only like the size of a chickpea. So, but still, it's like a, a cool, crazy pattern. Um, and then you have like alternate, like this is agate. This is a piece of agate, but it's a very, very low price piece of agate. I mean, very low grade agate. And it's dyed like a peach color dye. So it looks really pretty. It has the principles of agate, but it's not like, you know, it's not like an emerald or ruby. And then you get these, these beads are really cool. This is pieces of shell and jasper, like chipped up and then smushed together and like kind of baked together into a composite. And it's really pretty. Same with this guy. You get these wild patterns, like if the camera will stop going blurry. But yeah, this is genuine lapis or sodalite. Could be sodalite. But see these. This is sodalite. See these tiny beads. Like this is what's left over after they cut a nice piece of lapis, like or, or sodalite. After they make a nice big cabochon, they have all these little tiny chunks that they can't do anything with. So they put them in the machine and they get these teeny, 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 tiny ones. And that's why they can sell them like very low price because it's almost, it's practically like the leftover waste. But they're so cute and they look so good when you string them together like this. Like this black and gray one, it could be black jasper. It could actually just be like a high grade granite, but it's in this perfect little bead, polished, smooth, and shiny, and it's just cool. And then when Matt comes and wraps it with his signature antique bronze, vintage bronze wrap. It just looks amazing. It becomes magical. It comes to life and everybody wants to wear it. And then you, you find a really cool charm. Look at that charm. Isn't that a cool charm? Look at this. Look at that bead. Look at that, that pink bead. Look, that's like bird's eye jasper. Isn't that cute? It's tiny, but look how cute it is. And then you put it with a little bit of sodalite and the black metal. And it's like super fun. You put this on, everybody will be like, you're the coolest. Like, Janet, why are you so cool? Why is your style so much better than everybody else? Do you like roll out of bed and have your makeup done already? Like, why are you so cool? It's not fair. And Jan, Jan will be like, well, I know about Matt's crazy art and I get these handmade signature earrings and you know like i don't have to do much after that i just put on my regular outfit and these earrings just make my pretty face pop and you know girl where are we gonna get lunch today I'm like janet i wish i could be like you can be like me marcy just go to matt's crazy art and see what he has coming up this sunday this, this really happens this is a real conversation i recorded this no i was around the corner hiding with i was zooming in with my camera I couldn't get the video because they kept looking, so it was an audio. It's, it really happened, though. This happens all around the world every day. Like, all kinds of people are, like, intrigued 
and excited when they find the channel. You guys are you guys have the the inner scoop. You've known about this for months, some of you. Oh, so anyway, what are we gonna do now? Let's do let's get some silver. I mean, but Janet, she she always knew where to find cool stuff. She was waiting for my channel to come along. She was like praying like, please let there be a channel that will come along that will show me how to express my amazing style so I'll be the envy of all my friends. And sure enough, her prayers were answered. It's a beautiful story. It's a story of love, of sadness, happiness, forgiveness, of ultimately overcoming your fears and wearing the earrings that will make you cooler than your friends. There's a lot of moral lessons in this in this story. Moral lessons like if you want to show off and rub it in your friends' faces, you got to wear super cool earrings. And that's what brings people together because then everybody wants to be the coolest person in their friend group. And that makes the world a prettier place. And then everybody, when everybody's competing to be the coolest person in their friend group, like it raises the standard of cool worldwide and it helps everybody to achieve a higher level of cool. And that just makes the whole world more pretty to look at. It's a hard, hard um, job we're doing here, but you know, we feel like if we can just change one individual at a time to be the coolest person in their friend group that, you know, slowly we can change the world. Hello, Lauren. Lauren Ashley, which is it? Is it Lauren or Ashley? Or are there two of you sharing an account? Yes, Kim, they're all for an upcoming marathon show. Oh, here comes the wooden flag man. He is the man behind the wooden flag. There's Norma Hubert. There's Kawaiian at heart. Oh, there's Marley. Marley, how did you appear on the screen? That is some crazy magic you have there. Remember, Marley, it's only the green label, only the green label beads. I mean, you can get others if you like, but um, like the red label beads are already low price. They're like four bucks. So if you if you use my discount, you'll get them down to like three twenty five. But it's the green level beads that have the the green label have the really low discount. Amethyst shell. And cherry quartz. Oh, so pretty. I know, Baxter Monkey, I sent I I told you that you're the one who reminded me I usually come on tonight. So I wasn't going to, and then I changed my mind, because that's my prerogative. I change my mind. I I keep get people's hopes up. I drop their hopes into the dust, I cry, I laugh, and then I change my mind. I keep everyone guessing, keep everyone on their toes. You can't, it's unpredictable. You never know what's coming next. Will he abandon his show? Will he show up at a different time without telling anyone? Whatever he does, you can be sure it'll not be expected. I keep hearing this, UK doesn't have stores as good as the US, and it makes me sad. Actually, it doesn't make me sad. It makes me want to figure out some entrepreneurial way to get stuff to the UK and make and make money off of their 
of their off of their um, misfortune. I, I love the UK. I've never been to the UK. Can you believe it? Some of, if I come to the UK, who's going to let me in their house? Who's going to let me come over for lunch? I want to visit. I love I love British people. They're so nice and fun and funny. But I've never been there. I've never been to Australia either. I want to be there. I want to go there too. I want to go a lot of places. Can you believe I've been to the former Soviet Union? I've been to the Middle East, but I've not been to other English speaking countries. No, that's not true. I went to Canada a couple times. That doesn't count. Canada's like the giant 51st state. They're like the more polite version of here. Brighton. Oh, Laurie, I hope that make sure the sale still goes on tomorrow. I don't know if it's going on tomorrow. It might. Um, I never check things because that would be research and that would be effort. So anyway, um, all right, let's make another pair. Sweden. Ooh, I've never been to Sweden either. I'm so impressed by people from non-English speaking countries that speak and write perfect English. Even if they write imperfect English, I'm so impressed. We Americans are so terrible at, at learning other languages. It's super nice that everybody tries to learn our language, but it, it blows my mind how, like how good people are at it. So I usually don't use these crystals, but this one was just pink, purple, pink. I just had to do it. All right, you'll forgive me just this one time. I usually don't do faceted stones. It's just, I'm just, I have weird prejudices. Faceted stones are just not hippie enough for me. They're too glamoury. Oh yeah, you can do Michaels online. I bet they ship to the UK and maybe even Sweden. Oh, they don't ship? Oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I sell bead boxes online, bead and stone, on my Etsy. There's a few up right now. I think there's one left. We're going to put up more this weekend. So you can get them. Ten three. Wow, that's a long sale. They their sales. Every time I catch their sales, it's like the last day. Probably because I don't I don't do research. This is twenty gauge. I use twenty gauge more than anything else. 18, 20, and 22 are pretty much my go-to at these days. It's mostly 20, and then 18 is the next most common, and then 22. And once in a while, I'll use really thin gauges to like wrap things up, like 26. And once in a while, I'll use really heavy gauges to build stuff, like 16. Baxter Monkey was telling me, you want to get amazing deals on eBay, you just got to put in the work. You got to put in the time to find these guys with amazing deals. Anyone can do it. It's not rocket science, but you can't ask her how to do it. That's like asking someone, how do you do push-ups? Well, you just do them. 
It's like, yeah, no, but how do you do you're so good at push-ups. You do 200 of them. How do you do 200 of them? What's the secret? What's the magic code so I can do 200 of them tomorrow? No. You've got to build up to it. You've got to build up to doing 200 push-ups. You've got to go on eBay and you've got to search and hunt and be shrewd. Be a huntress and find those deals and, and find those sellers that have the real thing. And you might make some mistakes. You might get some stuff that's not good quality as you're learning so it's the kind of thing you have to be invested in doing a lot of it so if you're not if you just want to get a whole bunch of beautiful stones one time out of nowhere it's probably not going to work you got it takes like sometimes weeks to really you know narrow it down and find the amazing deals um i'm speaking as if i know i don't know how to do it i just know if i were to do it I know that's what it would take from me. And I, I order from AliExpress. AliExpress has great beads and stones, even lower price than Michael's on sale. The only problem with AliExpress, and they ship to everywhere, every major country as far as I know. The only problem with AliExpress is it takes 10 to 15 days to get it in the mail. So you got to be patient. Bexter monkey, she she traverses the dark alleyways with an with a knife in 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 one shoe, and her kung fu skills that she developed by traveling the world and meeting with gurus of different major martial arts. She looks harmless until you see the glint in her eye and you realize that there is there is a lot of dangerous knowledge behind behind those, behind that, the, that mascara. Oh yeah, I found real gemstones. I found better gemstones on AliExpress than I did at Michael's. Like I only ordered from AliExpress. I went for a couple years not getting from Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or anyone, only AliExpress. You know why I stopped ordering from AliExpress? Because during the shutdown, nothing could get in or out and i had a big order that sat there for four months and after that i got i got i got um what's the word gun shy so i haven't ordered from them since plus with bexter monkey support and other people's support i haven't had to put in as big of orders but michael's came out with these crazy sales after the shutdown ended because they wanted to woo people back so that was fun. That's the only reason I've been going to Michael's a lot. They have ridiculous sales. When they first opened back up, they had like 75% off all their beads. And then with my discount, like I have a military and a teacher discount, I got like an extra seven or eight percent off. So I had like 80, I had like 82% off. So I, I, I bought like dozens of strands back then. Because whatever, whatever I don't use, I put in the kits for people. And that way I can offer the kits fairly low price. So far, people are still saying I'm charging too low for the kits. That, you know, other people charging for kits online, they give you way less stuff. Because I we pack them full of all kinds of different, you know, beads and, and little pairs of charms you can use for earrings and stones and cabochons and... So I don't know. I'm always feeling like I'm always worried I'm not giving enough. I always like to put a little few extra pieces in. And then people are like, no, this is way more than I expected. Don't tell Baxter Monkey about these stories. She, she told me I'm authorized 
to tell the truth about her, but she doesn't want me to. She doesn't want you guys to know all these secrets. So if I let go of some of the secrets, don't tell her I did so. I don't want it getting back to her. Because then she might not she might not share with me her secrets if I keep sharing them with you. So so I share them with you, you guys keep it quiet so she doesn't find out. It's like a trust. Yuck. Oh, oh, you guys can't see. I'm trying to find a good pair. So I got these, right? And I got to find some stones to go in the middle. What if I go dark? That could work, right? What if I go bright purple? What if I go... Wait a minute, how many of these am... Oh, here we go. I have more amethyst over here. I haven't been using these. Oh no, these are purple agate. That's kind of cool. What if I put this one in there? Is that how's that work? Ooh. What do you like better, the purple or the dark turquoise? It looks almost like chrysocolla. Chrysocolla is so funny. It's the prettiest stone, but it sounds like a, a pop drink. I feel like I see some like male model like sipping it and then going. Chrysocolla, now in new diet. Chrysocolla, cherry chrysocolla, an original caffeine-free chrysocolla. I know, Baxter Monkey says that I'm, I'm giving too much stuff away because I have a, I'm just, I have this terrible need to be liked by everyone. Speaking of giving stuff away, that wooden flag is giving away a free flag. That wooden flag, tell us how we can find, how we can participate in getting this free wooden flag. I think I'm leaning towards the Chrysocolla. What do you guys think? I, thank you, Edith. I have not made beads out of coconut. I just buy the coconut beads. You you put the lime in the coconut and then you shake it about. That's what I heard. All right, so we're going to go with the chrysocolla. See, like paint isn't really expensive. Paint, 200 years ago, those painters had to pay so much for paint. Sometimes they had to mix their own paint from natural things like crushed up beets and, and uh, different types of green vegetables and stuff. But it's not that these beads are horribly expensive, but they are real stone. I don't like to get plastic and I prefer not to use glass whenever possible. I like to use real stone. It's just the combination. When you put them in the right combination with the right metal and you wrap it just right, it just looks fun and it's handmade. And if you're Matt's Crazy Art, you just offer them for a price that just makes people cry. I, I often have to put tissues in the box when I mail it to someone because I know when they see how beautiful it looks and they realize how much they paid, they, they're, they're gonna be like waterworks. They just cry all over the box. So I have to, you know, that's what I do. I care about people. So I include the tissues and, you know, they can blow their nose and they can send me a, a tearful reply about, you know, how. I 
That's so, isn't that great, that close-up? That's a great close-up. Finally, the camera's behaving. That wooden flag, they almost thought it was going to be a girl, and, and, and they were going to have to name it, name it um, Betsy Wooden Flag, but it turns out it was a boy, so... So they said, honey, we're having a boy. We're going to name him that. We're going to give his middle name will be Wooden, and then he'll take our, our family name of Flag. So Mr. and Mrs. Flag got together, and they, they had a boy. And uh, that Wooden Flag was born several years ago. I think he has a birthday coming up. Melissa, that is my favorite thing in the world. My favorite thing in the world is when somebody tells me, you can't charge that low because it's making it, you're lowering the expectation for other artists that make their living off of this. That's like, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's like such a cool planet. I love when people say that to me. I love, like, I'm not, a I'm not allowed to charge a price that is, financially beneficial for me because you're charging people more like you're telling me i'm not allowed to give my hard work for the price that i want to because you want to get more money out of people than they want to give you so it's harder for you to sell your pieces than for me because I offer a better price, and therefore I'm the bad guy. That's a good story. I like that story. It makes me so happy when people tell me that, because I say, my dear madame or sir, you better just thank your lucky stars that today is your day that you get to witness the power of sarcasm. Because what's about to come out of my mouth is going to wow you. Yes, sir or madam, you're absolutely right. I should be shamed into raising my prices so that you can feel better about your exorbitantly high prices. Absolutely. You're so right. You are so right. We should all charge more for everything. We should make everything harder for everybody to buy. I agree. See, look, look at that wooden flag. He's giving away a flag like every week for free. Should we come up to him and say, that wooden flag, you know, other people selling wooden flags, you're making them look bad. You should charge more for your wooden flags. You should stop giving them away for free. And he'd be like, you're right. I feel terrible. I can't believe I did that to the wooden flag community. I don't think he would th say that. I think he would be like, I love my customers, and that's why I give away a wooden flag every week. And if you're charging too much for your wooden flags, that's your problem. I think that's what he would say. I don't know him that well, but I have a funny feeling. Good for you, Melissa. See, Melissa, what you got to do is you got to be like, you got to look him in the eye and say, because you talked to me and enlightened me about this problem, I'm going to lower my prices even more. Just be real snarky. People love it. People love it when you're snarky. It's how you make friends. I know, they keep rolling around. I make myself bead boards and then I like leave them where I can't find them. It's all crazy. It's all ridiculous. Let me see, go, go see if I can find a bead board.
Nope, I can't find one. I know they're easy to make. I've made a bunch. I just keep misplacing them. Anyway. Um, no more oops tray. You make me sound like a toddler in a height chair. Are you tired of this happening? Can you just see the infomercial? I'm sitting there trying to drink my milkshake and make beads, at, and then I slip and spill the milkshake all over myself. Are you tired of crafting and spilling your milkshake all over yourself because you're just a klutz? Buy our new No More Oops tray. Our patented professional, Edith Tom, Tom, Tomaszewski, spent decades developing this No More Oops tray. Thank you, Edith. Now I can spill my milkshake everywhere, and the No More Oops tray keeps it from falling on my clothes. I am at the studio, that wooden flag. Um, I'm probably coming home. Eh, probably not till late. Look at these amethysts that Baxter Monkey sent me. Oh my gosh. I have to show them again. They're so great. Each one is going to be a necklace. Look at that one. That's a good one. That's a really pretty one. I already made two necklaces already out of them. One of them's online. You can get it. I made a necklace and earring set. It's online right now. I think I, I lowered it. I had it at 30. I just put it down to 22. I put it down on purpose to, to spite that person who was trying to shame me about low prices. Oh, that wooden flag. I thought my dad I, I thought my dad's home. He can do the chickens. Isn't he home? Why 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 wouldn't he be home? Is he watching the, the kids? Um let's make a necklace with one of these. Ooh, look at this one. Look at this one. Whoa. Whoa. Let's do it. Wait, why is he at... No way. There's no way he's at Jones. Why is he at Jones? If you put them away, don't put water in with them because the, the, um, I think they kick it around all night and then they make the newspaper all wet. And then they're like, it's like 10, it's like four times messier. But. You gotta be kidding me. When did he leave to go to Jones? Why did he leave to go to Jones? Is it because of that, that new development that came up with the um with that listing? He broke the ramp? Oh my gosh. Why does nobody tell me anything? Oh, look at that stone. I must forget who I am. Who am I? I am, I am the person putting silver within this beautiful stone. What more is there to life? I just saw him this morning. I said, I said, have a good day. He said, have a good day. He didn't say anything about going to Jones.
What? He's keeping secrets again. I don't believe this. That wooden flag is going to put the chickens away, so I'll be fine. And the duck. I want to get that duck another duck so she's not alone. I don't know how it would work. I don't know if you can introduce a duckling to a full-grown duck and they'll get along. Baxter Monkey, I have a video coming out about that very topic, about how you should always wear your art everywhere you go, and that's one of the best ways to represent yourself. I love how these, I really like how these swirls came out on this one. What do you guys think? Trying to get rid of the duck. How could he? Oh, he's he doesn't like the duck bothers the neighbors by quacking. No neighbor has complained. He just gets paranoid that the neighbors are going to, that duck is so cute. If any neighbor has a problem with it, I'll they have to have a problem with me. I'm the duck defender. Wah, 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 wah. Let's get a pretty chain. Good for you, Norma. Excellent. Yeah, one, one of the ducks just escaped from the yard one day. Nobody knows how it happened. We don't think a predator got it because there's always feathers when there's a predator. So there were no feathers. So we think it, it found some kind of little hole in the, in the fence and got out of the yard and just went off on a duck escapade. We looked everywhere. We couldn't find it. And then the, the other duck was used to being locked up in the little wooden house at night with, with her sister. And the first night we tried to lock her up by herself, she wouldn't stop quacking because she was so upset. So then we had to put the chickens in with her. So then she calmed down because she had like other, her other bird friends were there with her. So now we have to lock up, because the chickens used to just sit on top of the house. They used to roost because mm -hmm. it was nice weather. Now all the chickens and the duck, they all have to go inside the house at night so they can go to sleep. Um. Yeah, that wooden flag, um, you picked, you, you didn't pick a good year to start doing vendor shows. Your, your timing was, but you're going to have a lot of wooden flags once the vendor shows open back up, hopefully in, the, in this spring. I don't, I don't think too many are going to be opening up before Christmas. I know in some states they have some now, but... I think I think it's going to get more way more back to normal hopefully this spring. Where are my other jump rings? Hold on one sec. All right, here's some good ones. Oh, they're sticking, they're magnetically sticking to the, um, stop it.
You ever have your pliers get magnetized and then they start stick, sticking to the jump rings when you don't want them to? Oh, California I hear is awful. Like, I hear they're, they're extending their shutdown like way more than almost any other state. Everybody's moving out. Like Pennsylvania was one of the hot spots for like numbers of cases and everything. And we're so close to New York City and we still opened. We've been open for like we've been like open with caveats, like open, you know, I'd say 40 to 50 percent open since like August. I can't believe California is still mostly closed. That's horrible. And I don't even think they were hit as hard as this area. I think this will go nicely with these earrings. What do you guys think? We got amethyst and amethyst, and then we have little shell and little cherry quartz. Whoops, let me just push that one in the camera. Barefoot hippies. Um, I had the option to open, but I chose not to because I'm gonna really bad hallway it's right by the exit and um there every all of you are helping me online so much that like by not opening to the public for a while i had i was able to pay less rent and hire less salespeople. and um when they first opened it was just a ton of teenagers just roaming around like and i'm real close to the exit and i didn't want like teenagers just swiping stuff and running out so I had to wait until I had really good salespeople and I had like a good security camera and everything. And I decided to just wait because I was doing so many sales online. So you guys have been a huge help. Huge. You guys coming to these big Sunday shows, especially going on Etsy. You guys are like, you are. It must have been cold there in my shadow to never have light upon your face. You are content to let me shine, that's your way. You always walk a step behind. Come on, just play the guitar, wooden flag. Well, I was the one with all the glory, and you are the one with all the pain. A beautiful face without a name for so long. A beautiful smile to hide the pain. Did you ever know that you're my hero? All of you ordering from Etsy online during the Sunday shows, you're everything I would like to be. And I can fly higher than an eagle. Cause you ordering from Etsy on the Sunday shows, the wind beneath my wings. On, on a Wednesday, that wooden flag, well, that works for me. Why is Wednesday a better day? So look what I got done because you guys were hanging out with me. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff I got done because you guys are hanging out. in the boxes for you guys. 
Thanks, Kim. So one more time, Sunday we're doing sea glass and deer antlers, necklaces. Sea glass for the ladies and deer antlers for the, for the dudes or whoever wants whatever. It's totally up to you. Look at this. This is an elk antler. Isn't that cool? Hey there, Rocky. Wait, that's not elk, is it? That's moose. No, the antler I'm just going to keep. I'm going to keep the antler and, and just... I'm going to go on adventures with it. I'm going to take it to Disney World. I'm going to buy two rides, sit it next to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it to the movies and, and buy it an extra large soda so it can drink. You see this, see this deer antler? This is... Look, that's the chin. That's the lips. That's the nose. The eye goes right there, and there's the unicorn horn. It's like, hey, it's an Italian deer antler. He's like, hey, hey, what's up, Rocky? What's up? Hey, hey, yo. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Adrian, what's going on? Um, I think it is from West Virginia. That's what the song says. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road. I can't figure out where the other pair, for, part of this pair went. Oh, I have this, I could put this pair away. Michael Torella, on, yesterday, was it yesterday or two days ago? On the live show we did, um, we played Michael Torella, we played Michael Torella songs the whole show. It was great. All right, I'm going to log off all you people. Everybody, thanks for hanging out. Look at all these bead boxes and messes I'm going through. There's my soup. There's where you can order wire from. There's my ring mandrels. I had to retune my guitar so it matched Michael Torella on his videos because my, my guitar was out of tune. Yeah, you have to go back and watch it.
No, no, that's just, I have a whole bunch of these leaves. You just saw them sitting there. It's not, the ear, missing earring is somewhere, but, um, Take me home, country road, to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. I hear the sound of the whole new Sunday show coming. The peep, the, the peep, the people all remind me that I need to sell more necklaces. And traveling down that long and lonely road, I think I need to do more Sunday show, Sunday shows. Sunday shows, country road. Oh, James here. Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me home. Good night, everybody. I will see you on Sunday, 12 noon. Be there, or we'll be all there all the way probably till 10 o'clock at night. So come hang out, come say hi, help us raise money for our pottery studio. <laughs> you have to set that up, Michael Torelli. You're the tech guru. I only know how to smush colors together and pretend I know what I'm doing. I don't have any other skills especially with computers. I'm still learning how they work. I was typing on my computer forever and none of the words were coming up. And I was like, why does computers hate me? And then I realized that there's this button that looks like a circle with a line in it and you got to hold it until the screen comes on. And then when you type, the words come up. Nobody told me about that. I spent like an hour and a half just typing. Had a really good part of a novel written. Now I can't remember any of it. <laughs> like a toad in the road with a geode. <laughs> uh, James, you'll have to put some of your cut cabochons on the Matt's Crazy Art Facebook page. So we maybe you've already done that and I'm not aware. How do we get the free flag? I, I'm not sure if you told everybody.
All right. Well, good night, everybody. I will see you Sunday. Take care. Be good. <coughs> I have to give James Hurley one second to tell, talk about his stuff. Oh, Miss G, I'm leaving. Did you just come on? <laughs> People who come on just as I'm leaving, I always feel terrible. But I will see you Sunday, 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 our live truck show, monster trucks, Sunday, 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 something like that. Might not have monster trucks. We'll see. Bye. See you later.